So last week, I talked about how Ubisoft is such a piece of shit company that they're removing access to the DLC to a bunch of their big titles. I mean, we're talking games like Assassin's Creed, uh, as well as shutting down other online functionalities, multiplayer in that for a bunch of games, Far Cry, Splinter Cell, Rayman, an entire online-only game they were shutting down, Space Junkies, all on September 1st, so they gave very little notice to people about it. And on top of that, they were still selling all this stuff, which made it extra scummy without, like, notifying people on store pages and that that all this stuff was happening. So they were still letting people buy these games, the DLC, even though they were going to be removing your access to them in just a couple months. It can't get much more worse than that, right? Uh, yeah, actually, it did get worse. Stunningly, Ubisoft is taking that bad PR and going even further with it now a week later. It seems, it appears, that Assassin's Creed Liberation HD is being fully taken completely off of Steam. Just like with the previous stuff, you will no longer be able to buy it and you will no longer be able to access the game either if you've already bought it. Once more, just like the stuff last week, because I see people misunderstanding that, even still today, it's not only no more purchasing the game, we're talking no more downloading it even if you already bought it. When searching for the game on Steam, I actually couldn't find the store page anymore, so I'm thinking maybe they delisted it entirely now, uh, but people have screenshots of the page online where you can see the page was updated with two notices. One, quote, at the request of the publisher, Assassin's Creed Liberation HD is no longer available for sale on Steam. And then, secondly, please note, this title will not be accessible following September 1st, 2022. So there it is. No more downloading the game as of September 1st. Also, just as with the other stuff, while with this one they did stop selling the game and post this notice, but they were still just selling it before this. In fact, like Steam has been having their summer sales and that going on, so you know people just bought this game within the last couple weeks, couple months. Sure, they probably bought it on the cheap, but they just paid for this game and are now being notified that they've got less than two months now. More like a, a month and a half to play it before it's gone forever, removed from their library. How in the hell does Ubisoft think this is okay? I honestly don't get it. And when you talk about like stuff being old, uh, not a lot of people playing it anymore, this is the excuse a lot of dumbasses on the internet use. This is still an Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, it's an HD remaster of a portable one, but it's still a significant entry in this major franchise. It's not like this was some weird... A mobile spin-off like card game or something like that. This was still very much an Assassin's Creed game through and through. Like how many other games are on Steam that surely have way less people who bought them and still play them? I mean, every random indie game that nobody's ever heard of doesn't have this problem, but Ubisoft is going to have this problem? I mean, it's actually funny. Another reason I think the game, the store page may fully be delisted at this point is the reviews calling it out have spilled over into other games, definitely other Assassin's Creed games on Steam. So people are going to the other game store pages and posting negative reviews to let people know about this bullshit that's going on with Assassin's Creed Liberation HD, which I think is great because it's not like this is just review bombing, people being mad. It's making sure people are aware of not only this, not only Assassin's Creed Liberation, because obviously, you know, it's not like people can buy it anymore anyway, but this is certainly something you should think of before buying any other Ubisoft product, any other Ubisoft game. I've been banging this drum for years. Very few people want to listen that this stuff is only accelerating in this direction. A few weeks ago, people probably thought their Steam library was totally safe. They'd have easy access to all these games forever. Ah, feeling that way now? Because not this one. If you got Assassin's Creed Liberation HD, it's going to be gone. And like I said, do you think there's no way Ubisoft will pull more games down the line? Uh, do you think companies like EA aren't looking at this like, yeah, we, we better get in on that. We can't have Ubisoft upstaging us as the worst company on planet Earth. 
because I, I honestly can't even think of another instance of this happening. I mean, you guys can let me know in the comments. I, I think this may be unprecedented for like a big single player game, at least coming from a, a big publisher, a big franchise like this, where you're just not going to be able to download and play the game anymore. This isn't an instance like with the Wii shop where the whole store is shutting down. No, Steam obviously is still fully functional. And this is a game that you should be able to completely play offline anyway. There's no need for internet connectivity to enjoy this title. This isn't a, a big online MMO multiplayer game. Yeah, these companies may put the DRM in that in there because, you know, they're just they're garbage companies. But there's not like an actual online aspect, to my knowledge, that you need to enjoy this game. And if that's the case, if this is a new precedent, then yeah, it's only the beginning. I promise you. You know, I've been doing this stuff for a long time. I think back to when I was bitching about microtransactions and loot boxes when they were still relatively new, uh, the way events proceeded. You know, I'd have people in the comments, oh, shy guys, stop freaking out about loot boxes, okay? They're only in, like, shitty mobile games you don't even play. Oh, well, I, I, now they're in multiplayer games, but just, like, the free-to-play online ones, okay? It's not going into games that you pay... Oh, well, I guess now they're in the $60 multiplayer games as well. But, you know, don't worry. It's not like they're going to put loot boxes in single play. Oh, now they're in single player games. Yeah, I had to fight with people throughout that whole process. Oh, well, this will never happen. Oh, you're talking slippery slope fallacy. You're talking no, it actually happened exactly like that. Yeah, people have it in their heads like, oh, it's like this, but it's not going to go this far. And then you blink and you're past the point that you didn't think it was going to get to. All these companies have to do is get enough people to accept this practice, accept this as the norm, and then they continue to push it further. Happens all the time. Yeah, if there isn't immense blowback for this, you will see this ramp up. And you'll also see this game, this is another thing, like I said in my last video, I'm sure now this game, Assassin's Creed Liberation HD, will be part of some upcoming collection bullshit, some sort of like... Assassin's Creed complete all-in-one package, the story so far type deal. And when that happens, Ubisoft is going to act like you should be happy. You should be happy they're allowing you to buy it again. Yeah, you already bought the game from them and they took it away, but how nice of them to allow you to give them money once more for the title you already bought so you can have access to it again. And like I've said in that last video, it'll just rinse repeat. Then, you know, that game will get pulled down and you'll have to wait for the the Super PlayStation 8 Xbox 720 Assassin's Creed Ultimate Collector's Super Package with 100 games in it costs $500 and that'll be the only way you can play all the older Assassin's Creed games and by older they mean games that are more than six months old. <laughs> Myself honestly for now I'm done with Ubisoft stuff if they're going to go forward with this, they're tainted in my eyes. And sadly, that is going to roll into the only title of theirs that I was interested in coming up. Mario Plus Rabbid Sparks of Hope. I, I was really excited to play this game. I talked about it in that Nintendo Direct video I also did recently. But this is the straw that is going to break the camel's back for me. I am not supporting a company who is just going to straight fuck over fans, fuck over players for no reason like this. Just basically for fun. Uh, like I said, if every random indie game can keep their title up for download, Ubisoft can keep theirs too. Okay, this is bullshit. And like I said, I do believe this is to make way for some kind of super package or whatever. Like like with the, the games that are going to get their DLC in that pulled, the, those will also be included in this upcoming thing with the, all the DLC that they just pulled down. Just such a scumbag company, I can't. Stand it. Anyway, I'm going to cut myself off here. I don't want to go fully into all the same stuff I said in the last video about this. Who knows? I might be updating this Ubisoft story again in a few days with more stuff that they're pulling down at this rate. Um, so I don't want to just keep retreading on the same stuff over and over. So if you haven't watched that last video, want to hear me rant more about how shitty this all is, go watch that one. But for now, let me know your thoughts on the progress of this Ubisoft pulling support for their old game story in the comments. Do you think this is going to get worse? Will other companies jump on this train? As always, I'm the Shy Guy Johnny Zakari, and thanks for watching.